हेलो टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल सी अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जावा स्टैटिक कीवर्ड जावा स्टैटिक कीवर्ड इज मेनली यूज्ड फॉर द मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस बाय अप्लाइंग जावा स्टैटिक कीवर्ड विद वेरिएबल्स मेथड्स ब्लॉक्स और नेस्टेड क्लास वी कैन मेक देम अवेलेबल फॉर द इंटायर क्लास रेदर देन द इंस्टेंस ऑफ द क्लास so java static keyword belongs to the class then instance of the class which means that if we declare a variable as static then the value of that variable will remain constant throughout the class it will not vary for different instances of the class or different objects of the class we will see one example of static a classic example of problem of a counter without static and then we will see how it is solved with the help of static keyword so static can be apply with variable method blocks and nested class in this lecture we will see static keyword for variable method and block nested class is a separate topic that comes under inner class so i will make a video of inner classes uh, separately so now let's see first what is java static variable java static variable can be used to refer the common property of all the objects it gets memory only once in class area at the time of class loading and makes program memory efficient it will be clear with the help of example suppose i have to make a program to count number of students in a college so i have to count number of students in a college now a college can have different branches like csc and it so i will create two different objects one is csc and one is it and every time a new object is created that means a new student has get enrolled in the college the counter of the college class will gets incremented now let's see if i don't have the static variable what is the problem with that so let's create a class the class is college in this class i have a counter which will count the total number of students so int count equals to 0 then create constructor of the class and increment the count value so it will be count plus plus and print the value of that count in the system dot out dot print ln count then there is main method now see in this main method what i will do i will create three different objects each object will represent a student either in csc or it it doesn't matter so i will create a object of college suppose csc1 is the object and it is new college now when this object gets created the count value will show me 0 plus 1 that is 1 now another student comes it says college it1 equals to new college now see what happens this is a new instance this is a new object and when i have discussed classes and objects i have told you for each object the value of the variable is different so when this object gets created it treats count still as zero and when it increments it will become one so the output will still be one suppose again a student of college csc2 comes that is a second student of csc branch so csc2 equals to 
new college since this is also a new new object it will gets again the memory and trait count as 0 so it will again show me output as 1 now tell me whether the program is correct or not the program is syntactically correct it is perfect it does not have any syntax error output is coming but the problem is that count gets incremented every time and it starts from zero but ideally the answer should be after these three admission to the college the answer of this variable should be three that is a problem without using static now if I make this keyword as static it gets memory only once so when CSC1 gets admission its value become one and it will remain one for all the objects because static are class level variables it does not vary for objects to objects now when it1 gets admission the value will become 1 plus 1 2 and when csc gets admission again the answer is 3 so the final answer by using static is total number of students in college are 3 so this is very important if it comes in question in the theory exams or any interview that why static keywords are used. So basically the use of static keyword is for memory efficiency and making the variable available, available for the entire class. Now let's see what is static method and what are the restrictions of static method. Java static method. Just like Java static variable, Java static methods also belongs to the class rather than object of class it can be invoked without the need for creating an instance of a class which means they can be invoked directly without the need of creating stat, uh, objects and they can access static data member and can change the value of those static data members now let's create one simple example of using java static method I will just write an example and come back with the explanation of the example. This is the example. I have created a class C1, one simple variable int i. This variable is not static. This variable is not static. One static variable, static string name, initial value is eec. Then one method void update which is updating the value of the static variable. Now see I am using this static variable directly and changing the value in the static method which is this can access static data member and change the value of it. This is display method it is also not static method and in this display method I am just displaying the value of this name variable. Now inside the main method which is also static I can directly call a static method so I can directly write here update it will update the value of name to now EC classes and if I want to call this display since I don't have any static keyword here I cannot write display like this if I write display like this it will give me compile time error so it is not allowed for this I have to create an object of this class so I will write c1 object equals to new c1 and c1 dot display now once I write this the output will come out to be name now name is eec classes so output will be eec classes so this is a simple program of using static method now there are certain restrictions on static method one is static method cannot use non static data member or call non static method directly which I have just shown here since display is not static but main is static 
I cannot call this display directly. I have to create an object of this class to do so. And static method cannot use non-static data member directly. So if I try to write here system dot out dot print ln i inside this update method since i is not static i cannot write like this it is also give it will also give me compile time error and the second restriction is you cannot use this and super in the static context so this this is all about static method how you can use static method and certain restrictions of the static method now let's see about static blocks java static blocks are used to initialize the static data members it is basically a block which gets executed before main method at the time of class loading so a simple example can be i can have a class abc then to create a static a static block you just have to write static curly braces whatever you want to write here system dot out dot print ln static block then you can have your main method and whatever you want to write here just write it so when this program will compile and run first it will execute first execution will be of this particular block then execution from main method gets start so if there is a question that can we execute a java program without main method java program without main method so the answer is yes you can do with the use of static block but for jdk version for jdk version before 1.7 so the answer is in the jdk version before 1.7 we can execute a java program without main method with the use of java static blocks this is all about static keyword in java i will show the implementation of static keywords in the in a different in a separate video thank you for watching the video please subscribe to the youtube channel for more tutorials on java and other computer science related subjects thank you